everyone. We are here today to introduce our Winter Wine Club wines. I'm Lily and this is Matt, our winemaker. Hello. Where are we today? We are hanging out at the back of our cellar door here at our winery in Goleta, uh, just north of Santa Barbara. Uh, you might hear some planes buzzing overhead. We're right by the Santa Barbara airport. Um, we make all the wine right here. We've got our tasting located out front, outside at the moment. Um, you can also taste our wines up at our great Los Olivos location for all our friends and club members tasting wine up in the valley. Um, we're going to walk through our wines and our vineyards today as, as most of the Samsara club members and Samsara lovers know. Uh, a lot of our vineyards are in the Santa Rita Hills. We work with all Santa Barbara County fruit, but really focus on those kind of western Santa Rita Hills cool climate sites. We just want to say thank you to our wine club members. You're our biggest fans and we love you. And we're going to walk through these wines. Let's taste them. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Hi everyone. Today we are tasting the 2018 Pinot Noir from Los Hermanos Vineyard. Matt, tell us about the vineyard. Well, Los Hermanos is out on the very west end of Highway 246 in Santa Rita Hills. Um, it's planted on a hillside block in the vineyard. It's north facing. Uh, the soils are really complex out there, uh, really cool mineral driven soils with limestone and diatomaceous earth. Um, what do we think about the wine? I love this wine. It's a little bit lighter in body. Uh, it is more savory and spicy. I get some tart red fruits, um, but it is just really bright and fresh. Yeah, and I love the texture. I think the whole fluster style really drives this wine a lot and lends itself to that kind of savory, spicy profile. And it really impacts the texture too and gives it that, you know, super mouth coating, um, you know, really cool textural quality that we love in our wines. And, uh, you know, I think the balance is great as well. It's drinking really good now, but really has the balance, you know, the structure and the acidity and the flavor concentration that age really well. Yeah, awesome. Cool, well thank you, enjoy. Cheers. This is a 2018 Pinot Noir from La Encantada Vineyard. Let's taste this one. All right. Ooh, that's delicious. I like that. Can you tell us about La Encantada Vineyard? I can, yeah. La Encantada is planted along Santa Rosa Road in Santa Rita Hills. Uh, it's part of the, the three Sanford vineyards, the Sanford and Benedict, La Rinconada, and La Encantada. So it's, you know, kind of a famous and well-known site within Santa Barbara County. Um, it's the westernmost of those three vineyards, and our section at La Encantada is kind of planted on an upper mesa. So it's a little more exposed, um, older vines, I think tasting this wine, you can really taste uh, kind of the concentration that you get from the low yields that those vines produce. In 2018, we got less than one ton per acre, so super low yields. Um, what do we think about the wine? It's delicious. It's very concentrated. I would say it's really powerful on the palate, and I think it's going to have some great ageability. I would definitely decant this wine right off the bat. If you're going to you know, have it with dinner, I would open it a little early because as it opens up, and um, get some oxygen, it's just tasting amazing. Yeah, it definitely has like a little bit of a darker profile. Um, it's darker in color. Uh, it has sort of a darker fruit profile. And I, I think I just really attribute it that, to that uh, low yield that we got in 2018. And, um, you know, just those older vines out at La Cantata. I love this wine. Great, thanks. Yeah, thank you, cheers. <laughs> We have the 2018 Larner Vineyard Grenache. We are venturing outside of the San Rita Hills slightly into Ballard Canyon. Matt, do you want to talk about this vineyard? I know you have a long history here and you yeah. love, love Larner. Yeah, love thanks. Larner. I, I do love Larner. We, we all do here at Samsara, but I, I have a long history at Larner Vineyard. I've been making wine uh, from Larner Vineyard grapes since 2005, so, you know, 16 plus years now. And, um, truly one of my favorite sites and I think for Grenache uh, it's really uh, a match made in heaven and you know the sandy soils the limestone the mineral deposits you know, throughout Ballard Canyon and, and, and at Larner Vineyard specifically um, just really contribute a lot of complexity to the fruit um, let's try this wine let's try it it's 
It's full of fruit. Grenache can kind of go a number of different ways. It's kind of a chameleon based on the soil type, the climate when you pick it. And I think that, that this really showcases a bigger, um, more voluptuous style of Grenache, which is great. Yeah, I love how Grenache can be really, you know, elegant and lean uh, in a cold year. And then a, a slightly warmer year, like 2018, it can be, you know, a more full bodied, powerful wine. Um, I love the fruit concentration on this bottling. Um, I still think it has great balance and, you know, it's, it's firing right now, but it'll really do well. You know, Grenache is one of my favorite wines to lay down and they always benefit from, from some extra age. Yeah, this wine has that classic Larner texture, but a little bit more fruit than the 17. Um, it's just a little bit bigger bodied and more powerful. Yeah, it's neat to see, you know, the different impact that the vintage can make and how Grenache can be beautiful at, you know, at different, you know, click, click, click. It's nice <laughs> uh, all along the way. Yeah, this is a great wine. Good cool. food wine. Great food wine, super yes. versatile. Cheers. This is a 2015 Ohm Syrah. This is our reserve bottling of Syrah. And Matt, can you tell us a little bit about the reserve program? I can, yeah. The, the Ohm Syrah, Ohm really represents our very best barrel, or in some vintages, two barrels of Syrah that we produce from all our vineyards. Um, and we're really shooting for a style for the Ohm Syrah. Um, it's not vineyard designated because sometimes that superstar barrel comes from uh, different vineyards, depending on the vintage. Um, we're, we're looking for an elevated style that's extra aromatic, extra textural, um, and really just kind of stands above the rest. Um, let, let's taste the wine. Yeah, you can even before you even taste it, you can smell just the power of this wine. I think that it's really in the style of um, a wine that's made for longevity. We release it a little bit later. We hold it in the bottle a little longer um, and this wine will age. Yeah, it definitely has that concentration, that uh, depth of flavor and the balance to really, I mean, it's tasting great right now, but mm -hmm. 10 years from now, I expect it'll still have time left. 20 years. Could be. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> there won't be any left by then, but. Yeah, and you know, 2015, the vintage was definitely a hot year. It was right in the middle of our drought. We had really low yields in 2015, probably the lowest yielding vintage of the decade um, for Syrah. And I think for this bottling, you can really taste that extra power and that extra depth of flavor from those low yields. Yeah, it definitely has that classic Syrah character, the smoky meat and chaparral and green olive but then it has a really big burst of fruit on the palate which is really nice so yeah i mean it's it's kind of a stunner you yeah. know it's a it's a showstopper and if you taste it with a few other wines next to it i think you know this this will probably kind of outperform whatever's on the table yeah so this yeah. is our reserve wine um about 50 cases made only two barrels bottling so yep. yeah, yeah two barrels um and this is custom artwork from one of our good friends and wine club members. So you get the hand dipped wax bottle and we have this artwork hanging in our tasting room. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Um. <laughs>